Okay, so I powered everything down. And what we're going to do next is we're going to, instead of using a dumb RGB controller, we are going to make it control a light arama and this is a PC CTB 16, 16 channel AC controller. And uh, this is really, really easy to do. So first I'm gonna unplug this guy. So we are not gonna use this uh, for the rest of this little demo here. We're gonna play with some jumpers. Okay, so if we look at this board, so what I have here is I have these jumpers and they are currently set to DMX and I wanted to use Lightarama. And what's going on here is these guys are hooked up to a little bit of logic that will actually change the pins. Because Lightarama and DMX talk the same base protocol, but they do it on different pins. Now this is so I'm just pulling these little jumpers up and I'm moving them all one row down. You see my big hands are in the way. See? But they were all along this row. I pulled them off and stuck them on the next row. So this is all light aroma. Okay? And that's that. So now I'm gonna power everything up. Okay? Now these lights flash just because they're hooked up to this power supply, but we're not going to be using them. Whoops, the other thing I forgot to do is the other end of this cable here now goes into one of the two COM ports on the um, on the Lightarama box. You can see he's he's flashing red. And then on the ports I have my little Testorama, which I just made this with some vampire plugs and some old C9s. And I got one of those hooked up to every port. So the Raspberry Pi is booting up, lights are flashing, we got everything hooked up. The main difference is, is that we have the, the, the Cat5 cable going from the Falcon Pi Cap to the Lightarama CTB16. And of course the other difference is we move these jumpers over. So, well, when this is booted up, the next thing we, we need to do is change the configuration on the, uh, the Falcon Pi Cap. Okay, so we're back on the uh, on the, the the Falcon player, uh, which is run on the Raspberry Pi with the Falcon Pi cap here. And again, we're going to go to input output setup. We are going to select channel outputs. We're going to select other. And then on the last experiment, we were running DMX to a 27 channel dumb controller. We're going to get rid of that. So I'm just going to highlight it, then click delete. Now I'm going to click add, select type, Lightarama, how many channels? 16 channels. What port? The only one that's there. And then we'll leave the speed at 19200. See, this is a serial interface. This is the baud rate. We click on this to say that it's active. We hit save. It wants to restart the FPP daemon, so we'll do that. It's restarted. Now we go to status and control tab and select display testing. And, you know, for channels, uh, let's see, how many channels are we going to have here? So we have the 48 pixels plus the 25 pixels. That gives us 73 times 3 is 219 channels plus the 16 channels in the Lightarama box. That is 235 channels, 235. Okay, <clears throat> uh, so we hit Enable Test Mode and stuff is happening okay uh, for this I'm gonna hit chase because I want to see the chase going across the, um, the light around okay alright so what I did is I set it up for chase I'm gonna set the chase in order of all the five so you can see it a little bit better and it is going. I'll show you what's going on. We have the Falcon Pi cap with the RJ45 cable. We have moved it from here to there after switching the, the little red jumpers. And now with that uh, chase pattern, what I did is I said, uh, you know, do the chase, sped it up a little bit, and I said every four. So it does four blank, one on. And it's chasing. So you can see that the, the Falcon Pi cap can control 
Dilita Rama CTB 16. Very, very cool.